Hello, everybody. Welcome back to part three of episode 11 of the Game Trailer Show. We will be featuring games from the 8th to the 12th during this segment of November 2019. And as always, I'm joined by Tomorag and our special, special friend, Topsky, also known as Dad. Hi, Dad. Hey. Hey. That's me again. <laughs> <laughs> back from the store. How's it going? What were you? What 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 did you have to buy at the store, Dad? Cigarettes. Oh, I'm just kidding. Did you get the smoke. candy? Did you? Get I did actually. Nice. Half <laughs> off. Oh. <laughs> what what candy would you eat right now? Uh, I got these Oreo chocolate bar things. Oh, pretty good. Are they the like Oreo plus Hershey's chocolate bar things? Those? I think so. It's got a spider on it, so I don't like to look at him. Oh. Well, I'm but, scared of spiders. Burn them. Burn the cookies. That's what I'm saying. Burn the cookies? That Others would call it melting. That's That comes after. That was before burning. Melting goes into burning. Hey, what Borag, are we on about right now? <laughs> I don't know. Borag, what would be your candy bar that dad got you from the store? Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie what? Rolls. Yeah. Out of all of them, you pick that one? Tootsie Rolls are amazing. <laughs> Here comes They're Kidrat. so plain. Excuse me? Welcome so back plain. to part three of our 37-part oh. series on upcoming 30s. video games. Today, we'll be looking at some interesting <laughs> games from the 1970s. Please sit down and relax as we... Cheap uh, tip. 37 uh, parts, guys. You ready for this? Nice. I love Kidrak. Reminded me of uh, of some so of those awesome. really bad YouTube tutorial videos. <laughs> so, uh, so, so game of the year potential right here is what a lot of people are saying. Try and stop you every Possibly, you never know. The reviews are out. I haven't read any of them, but I've been told it's been pretty decisive. I personally feel it's either going to be gameplay or stories that are going to really mess people up with, with this game. Without spoiling, the reviews have... Uh, have definitely told a fascinating story about what to expect of this game just by the impressions given um and the only way to say what many people say is it is a unique experience mm -hmm. yeah my name is sam porter looks like it i would say it's going to be unique very much my job to reconnect death stranding is going to be very unique i'm looking to play it november 8th comes out on pc soon too like next year or something. When so a year later. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. I this this is um Jumanji it's, the video game. If I can't exactly play as Jack Black. It is. Oh you you can. <laughs> I am one hundred percent in right now. Uh online or split screen modes with friends or AI are available. Yeah, I'd, I'd say the new, I'd say the new Jumanji movies are very much a guilty pleasure. I like them, but I, I probably they're... shouldn't have. <laughs> I love it. Uh, this one, uh, Layton's Mystery Journey, Catriel and the Millionaire's Conspir Conspiracy Deluxe Edition. Uh, forty brand new puzzles, nailed and refined it. ones. Yeah, I totally nailed it. <laughs> refined ones from the 3DS version. All DLC and outfits, and some new ones are included, and it has an improved look. I've never played a latent game, and I feel that's a disservice to me. What about you guys? I've never played one. I've been wanting to for a very, very long time, but I haven't. This might be the one. I'll be honest. I I adored Ace Attorney, and everyone says I should play this. That's the latent detective agency's motto. But yeah, no, it's like, because it's, it, from what I understand with this game, and I have never played one, so this is just purely the way I feel that, like, I, I think it's going to play out, is they're all just basically anime episodes, and then you go and solve puzzles in between, like, different segments. I'm that's so, the way that if, I've always seen them as. If that's how it is, I am in. Chad, mm -hmm. should I play this? So, uh, this is going to be on the Switch. Or if you already have a 3DS, you can go and play the uh, play them there too as well. The criminal is extremely intelligent and a 
Look at okay. them! Look at them! They're all having such a great time in their in their in their locations, in their times, in their funds. And that dog just gives no shits and he's just <laughs> complaining about everything. But if I remember, if I remember, like Layton, Professor Layton was another character. This is somehow like built onto it. Well, just I think it's a continuation of the story. But yeah, not Idea Factory. No. Um, this is a bad dream. Hey, uh, would you like to lurk in the dark? Prologue. Uh, prequel mm -hmm. to the first chapter, not released. The guilty, happen? forty-five to sixty minutes long. So. This is essentially a demo before one of their games? Yep, it's their... The way that I saw it is like they're going to be hyping their main game in the future with this game instead. Gotcha. It's, it's, right, I, so it's more like a proof of concept. But, uh, music, right here. <laughs> music is very much in uh, in line of like... Uh, what is it? Silent Hill? Gotcha. Um... That said, environment is well crafted and beautiful. That's not how you spell believe. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be free too, as well, to the best of my knowledge. And if I remember correctly, they're also um, they're like right on their pages. If you make YouTube videos, send me a message. So have fun if you're a streamer or whatnot. Gotcha. Oh, there we go. Free. Not a fan of horror games, so I'm going to pass on that one. How to Torture Pops 101. Nope. Hey, Popsky. Brother, brothers. Huh? Uh, we have new Super Lucky's Tale. This game was originally out on the Xbox and, uh, and the PC as Super Lucky's Tale, but it's coming out on Switch now with new Super Lucky's Tale. Uh, and uh, it was actually, this is where it gets even more confusing, Lucky's Tale was originally a VR game that spun this whole series off. Really? Mm -hmm. I'll be hmm. honest, it's beautiful. So really, there's only two games, just to, just heads up. There's Lucky's Tale, which is the VR game. Then there's Super Lucky's Tale, which is the game that we're currently looking at. Okay. For Xbox and PC. And then new Super Lucky's Tale is the Switch version. But... But it's the same as, as Super Lucky Tale. But is it really lucky? I said lucky three times for three different game names, so it must be. I hope. This looks fun. I have to play this. Yeah, I, I wonder can see if you play I wonder if since it's going to be on Switch, if it's going to end up having uh, the uh, the premium Nintendo cost to it. The hundred dollars Canadian. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I want, man. I want to play Luigi's Mansion, but man, hundred bucks for for a game that's probably going to last me six to eight hours is, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, if it were forty to sixty, though, play. it would be a totally different experience, right? Oh, hands down. And yeah, yeah. that's that's what it is. It's sixty dollars American. Hundred dollars Canadian. <laughs> so, uh, some people like mosh pits, but this person is like, I want an Uber mosh, and then he decided Uber mosh colon Omega. Uh, top down oh retro arcade pit combat game. Five years in the making, over 4K different sprites. Yes, yeah, somehow they wow. shoved in 4,000 different sprites into this. So I don't know if they're talking like tiles as well too. Maybe. I don't. I don't know. Well. This looks hectic. I mean, this looks nutty. They I have, don't like, know the if that's a big selling effect. point, though. Because, I, I mean, in theory, you could say uh, Ghost 1.0 had over 2,500 sprites if you went down that well, path. Why didn't you go and put that in the selling then? Because it won't sell games! Hey, uh, that one's going to sell. That one's definitely all right, we have Ashland and then some uh, symbols. I don't know what that says because this game is only in simplified Chinese. Uh, it's early access for three to six months with one V4 gameplay, four bad guys, seven adventures, and three maps at launch. So, so how's that by daylight? By day <coughs> daylight, do it. But Chinese version. I think this would be pretty cool. It does look cool. Pass. Big old pass for me. 
But was Dead by Daylight a pass too? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. I it does look like I think they're gonna have better objectives in this game versus Dead by Daylight, but but I, I don't know. Oh my god, that scream has been said. I've heard it twice now. I think it's used somewhere else. That's one of the standards, yeah. Yeah, is that a trap door they even yeah, have to? It's door. literally dead by daylight. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Hi, so, Seedling, it's time to please. evolve. Will you grow fast or will you grow strong? Oh my god. Miscreation, evolve your creature. Evolve your creature to survive. Thousands of possible combinations for his game. Self published TV. More IQ and start. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Yes, There's a little on scream. I heard no. it. I think that's number two. One, two. I think I heard one earlier. I don't remember. That that said, it's Spore the Platformer. Um, no, it's more so. Uh, to the best, if I remember correctly, it's more like uh, what was what was the Super Nintendo version? Evo. Yeah. Evo the Search for Eden. Yeah. It's more like that, to the best of my knowledge. Yeah. Well, There's no. another one scream. There's another one. That's two in one trailer. Holy crap. I'm just trying to decode what I'm looking at here. This is something. I do, I do like the song, though. Baby yeah, has okay. a DNA wire. Oh, you evolve each individual part. That's kind of cool, I guess. Have, did, did you never play Evo for the Super Nintendo? No. You should. It's a classic. I, I'd say it's aged very well, too. Sup, ladies? <laughs> They're gonna help you evolve any of your body oh parts. Oh my god, that's a frog chicken. <laughs> Poor guy. Man, this is. I, I, I'm probably maybe gonna play this. It's Romancing Saga 3, because I've never played a Romancing Saga game myself. So they're going back and they're remastering the game that only came out in Japan back in 1995 with uh, optimized graphics, new dungeon to, to explore, new scenarios, and even new game plus as well, too. I thought that logo said romancing salsa. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, That's neat. That's so a... one thing I couldn't I couldn't figure out with this though. What's the difference between the 2D and the 3D stuff? Probably in the same vein as that uh what is it, Dragon's Quest that just happened? Maybe. Yeah, because they say what new new perspective there? Yeah. So now we have Saga Scarlet Grace. I'll be honest, looks uh, this looks fun. Seems very run of the mill RPG to me. Yeah, but I mean, that's what they all were back in the day. Right. That's kind of cool. I got no info for this game because I don't didn't know it was in this trailer. <laughs> For real? Yeah. No, I it's, uh, the remaster is both of them <laughs> combined, to my knowledge. In one package? Yes. I what? think yeah, the second games. one is the 3D variation of the 2D game. That's why they did the flip between the two arrow attacks, so you can see the standard arrow and the 3D arrow. See, look, Romantic Salsa coming out on the <laughs> PS Vita. <laughs> I thought those are two different games, to be honest. If they are, they oh. might be. Is this finally coming out? Finally yes. coming out! Le Bumble the Legend of Bumbo. Puzzle-based deck-building roguelike. It's a prequel to uh, The Binding of Isaac. Four plus characters, 100 items, 30 enemies, and 10 bosses coming out on the 11th. All right, I'm in. They nailed the, the, uh, the, the art on this. Cause I know when it first, <laughs> when it first, uh, like where they're showing it off, I was like, I don't know how they're gonna nail this, but they definitely nailed it. What even is this trailer? <laughs> Nail board. They got needles, 
fishy hook, finger hot, and beans too. Edmund, I love it. Oh, well that's coin. Give me that coin. When does Edmund Art never when not nail it? Uh when it was a really weird perspective before. But he changed that up through the through what it looks like now. And later on iOS and Switch. That's there awesome. There we go. Well, okay. Um, let's follow that up with another beautiful looking game, Art Former the Game. Uh, early access for about a year. Currently have 30 to 60 minutes of each chapter in the game for four chapters. And uh, this was... I, I remember something I looked up about this where it was more of a person wanting to just make art and a game came from it was part of the story I read. Did you read anything about that, Morag? I did not, no. Yeah. But from what I understand, it's like, like each chapter is very unique art style by itself and uh, they want to have it so they're full stories for each of them using that art style. And you're kind of going through sad. the ages. That's cool. Yeah, so it's pretty much like four games in one is the way that I ended up seeing it. I can't wait till Andy Warhol becomes the fifth one. We'll be cans of tomato soup and stuff. Mm. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was me. Just cheap shot at him from behind. <laughs> okay. Hey, man. That was very early times. It was very much survival of the fittest. He was behind him. He he was doing nothing. Survival of the fittest. Survival okay. of the push friend. <laughs> I'm not going to walk around that guy if there's zombies chasing us. They're like, you're the easy fat guy to get. So, um, do you guys like... Uh, Doctor Who? I used to. Not so much anymore. <gasps> Whoa! What Doctor Who do to you? Stop being good. <laughs> Actually, I haven't watched it for like two or three seasons now, so yeah. I, I might be in the same boat. But um, yeah, no. So Doctor Who the game, it's an official BBC licensed game, and it's actually voiced by the 13th Doctor herself, too, Jody. Uh, oh. Whittaker. Whittaker? Whittaker. I don't Whitaker? know how to say last name. Whittaker? Is, it, is that Whittaker? Oh, yeah, it's Whittaker. I, didn't, I, didn't, I was going to say it, but I'm like, eh, I don't know if that's Whittaker. <laughs> but yeah, all VR game, too, as well, which is pretty cool. For the fact that they're using her voice, they should oh, be using no. it in the trailer. What's the you know? Yeah, I don't know if you're the gonna be like the don't assistant. Don't blink angels person. thing. Oh god. Do you don't recall. like the weeping angels? Yeah. Are they creepy. are they are they too whore-like for you? Yep. Don't like it. There they are. I hate it. Come on, they just they just want to give you a hug. Yeah, man. Looks like you take you to a different dimension. <laughs> Looks like you get to be oh. a uh, robot there. Now that I think about it, weeping angels, you you have to always keep your eyes open around them, right? Yeah, you have oh to look God. at them. With a VR headset, Turn. they can determine when you're blinking. Beautiful. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> oh I don't, no. I don't, I don't think the basic ones can. Can they? I don't think so. I think I think the ones in the future they want to make it so that they track where your eyes are, so they only render that portion. If I remember correctly. Gotcha. Well, uh, this is draw chili. Collect chickens and produce energy. Special spectator mode for Twitch streamers, apparently. Is that the right? Did, did I read that right? No, that, that's literally it. Welcome to this game that I had no idea what to write for. <laughs> Because they didn't put any information out as well. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna double, triple check, confirm to make sure that is what this is. Just, just to be sure here. Oh, no, I don't see any chickens. I don't. But you chili. know what? Yeah. That's cool. Uh, Draw Chili is a is a hell of an arcade game where you take on the role of Vladimir and raise the city from the depth of purgatory and uh, at the request of your employees, horsemen uh, of the apocalypse. Interesting. Yeah, it was just so a lot of shit. Oh, logo. yeah, plot. I specifically said no plot. I'm sorry. This episode. 
You did not tell me that. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> uh, we this have, is a family show. We have Faulty Apprentice. Because it just so happens as an apprentice and you're faulty, you're always going to fall into incorrect places sometimes, you know? Because that's the classic anime trope. Uh, 30 characters to meet 10 Jesus, characters. Jesus, guys! Wow! <laughs> uh, there's 15 locations in this game. That's that you get to bring your character into. Yeah. Wow, this trailer. There's plot, but Damn. there's a lot of it. Is that plot? Well, they they. It was up her skirt, dude. Uh, All right, she's fine. She's fine. She's just, got armor. Plot armor. The apprentice is plot faulty. Armor. He's just in the wrong. He's just in the wrong spots at the wrong time. Welcome to my store. Prepare yourself, human. Are you enjoying my castle? Are you enjoying my castle? I can't imagine a single princess would ever ask if someone's enjoying their castle. It just doesn't okay. feel right. Let's move to something a little less detailed. Tell me about Upmove. Have you ever played that one game, that arcade game, the Moonlander? Yeah. Now, are you really good at typing or bad at typing? Terrible typing. Well, you're going to hate this game because it involves typing it's a typing game while playing Moonlander. No, don't want. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Look at that! Oh, you tried typing it out, and it's his energy. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, but you gotta type well to get energy for it. That'd be a challenging game. Uh, ranging the game ranges anywhere from moderate to to extreme their words is from the dev and uh yeah 11 levels 11 levels you know what this reminds me of solar jetman on the nes which was a terrifyingly difficult game with the way the momentum was i don't oh, it's all right i don't i don't want to no. know um i'm okay with that texas was enough for me <laughs> um next up we have is village monsters Undertale 4, here we go. It's going to be early, <laughs> go early access game for, for about one year. You grow, befriend, and explore in this game. Many of the major features and systems of Village Monsters have already been implemented in some capacity in this game. From what I understand, it's going to be like a different type of uh, Star Stardew. So it's Undertale Stardew. Undertale Stardew, like sure. Which I'm okay we'll do under, 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 Underdo. 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 Look at that, they even got fishing. And they got bug catching. And a goblin. They caught a little goblin. I think that was a head with legs. Whoever puts their treasure chest on the beach. Just it's saying. the best place to make sure someone finds it because it'll erode away. It's beautiful. The ultimate treasure hunt. All right, that someone didn't know it was a treasure hunt. Let's learn some from someone. Popsky, where would you put your treasure chest? Uh, I'm not telling you, then you'll find it. That's a good point. Chat, what would you make your password? Just throw it in chat. Let us know <laughs> what you would make your password. Yeah, put your passwords in the chat. Yeah, just put we'll your tell, passwords we'll, we'll in tell the you chat. If strong enough or not. I'm, I'm only asking because I don't want to type it. It's for your security. Yeah. See, I, I use password backwards, all capitals, and you put one, the number one in between pass and word backwards, of course, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. I, I want to say that the music for that trailer did not fit at all. Just, nope, it did not. <laughs> just, just saying. It was awful. <laughs> yeah, it's just like you're hanging out with and having a good time with monsters. Except they're red. Here's a sweet, sweet country jam <laughs> no thanks banjo. uh so what were your picks that uh that out that uh part i just had bumbo uh, bumbo i did, did i even check anything on that i did super super lucky tail i want to check that out even though it's a port and the latent's mystery possibly that's a port too mm -hmm. so yeah i'm I, I only saw ports in there that i was super interested in i mean port it up fam Death Stranding obviously gets a mention, but yeah, my picks oh, were uh, Layton's Mystery Death Journey, Man. Romancing Saga, and Bumbo myself. Oh, and that, oh my, why, I, 
This is what happens when I don't press my checkmark boxes. I completely forget about Romancing Saga 3. There you go. Um, Romancing so Salsa 3. Oh, I, and Salty Apprentice. <laughs> is that an off air or on air? Uh, That's I can't perfect talk about, answer. I can't talk about my other site. <laughs> perfect answer. Perfect. Oh, ah, snap. that's okay. I only show off my feet on that site. Um, Whoa. What? It gets the money. I admit, I didn't know you had that site. I that, only knew about your other site. That's okay. That that mm -hmm. one's that one's the uh <laughs> Popsky, it's a pleasure hey. having you. We'll catch you on next part, right? I... Right? Right. 